you pink amazing friends out there. I'm Pinkalicious and this is my little brother, Peter. Also known as Peterific, which rhymes with terrific. Welcome to our podcast where we play our favorite songs and do pinkatastic things together. Like dancing. Because today we are dancing the day away with Pinkalicious. And me. <laughs> so sing and dance with us if you can, okay? In the car, at home, in your yard, or wherever you are. Woo! Twirling, twirling, woo! Woo! <laughs> Hi, listeners. You caught me in my backyard doing one of my favorite things ever. Can you guess what it is? That's right, dancing! Woo! <laughs> Whenever I hear music, I always feel like moving my body. Twirling and turning. <laughs> and leaping. <laughs> Whew. What kind of dance moves do you like to do, listeners? Ooh, I like those moves too. And I especially like to dance with someone, like Peter. Let's go inside and find him. Not in the kitchen. Not in the living room. Oh, maybe he's upstairs in his bedroom. Peter, are you in there? Come on in. Peter, why are you lying down? Uh, I was trying all morning to do a new trick on my scooter, but <sighs> I just couldn't get it to work. Well. I know just the thing to put some spring back in your step. Is it a raspberry swirl sundae from Mr. Swizzle's ice cream shop? No, but that's a really good guess. It's dancing. I was just telling our listening friends how dancing with someone else makes me super happy. I bet it would make you happy too. So let's dance together. <sighs> well, I don't know, Pinkalicious. I don't really feel feel like dancing. I'd rather just lie here. But dancing will cheer you up. And it will give you more energy to try again. Trust me. <coughs> hey, it's Rosie. Hi, Rosie. You danced with me, wouldn't you, sweet kitty? <coughs> Look at how she takes graceful steps, wiggles her tail back and forth, and paws at her ears. It's sort of like a dance. I can step, step to the sides, wiggle, wiggle my imaginary tail, and paw, paw, paw my ears. <laughs> Do the kitty dance with me, Peter. Please. I don't know. What do you say, friends? Will you do the kitty dance with me? You will? Yes. Well, if they will, I will. Pinkatastic. Let's all dance like Rosie. Step, step, wiggle, wiggle, paw, paw, paw. Step, step, wiggle, wiggle, paw, paw, paw. <laughs> I think Rosie likes our dance. Dancing like Rosie reminds me of the time I danced with a rooster cataroo. A rooster what a -roo? Cataroo. Part cat, part rooster, and part kangaroo. Whoa! I'd love to dance like a rooster cataroo. Then here we go. If you want to dance with a rooster cataroo, just do what a rooster cataroo can do. Hop and leap like a kangaroo, then fat like a cat and pounce like one too. Now flap and say, meow a doodle doo. Now twirl like a girl or a boy a roo And don't forget to say Meow-a-doodle-doo 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 
Dance about an animal you like. Listeners, what kind of made up animal would you want to dance like? Those animals sound incredible! Ooh, ooh, I've got one! A cow bunny! We can hop around like bunnies! That moo like a cow! Look, I'm a Peter Cow Bunny! Hippity hoppity moo! Hippity hoppity, hoppity moo! moo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ducky dog. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> quack, quack, whoop. Quack, quack, whoop. Quack, quack, whoop. whoop. <laughs> <sighs> it was pretty fun making up animal dances with their friends, but I still don't think I'm ready to do my scooter trick yet. Wait, do you hear that? I know what can help die. cheer you up even more. Be right back. What's going on, Pinkalicious? Peter, you'll never guess. Norman, our garden gnome, and his friend Edna are outside in our backyard dancing. Wait, gnomes dance? Yes, gnomes love dancing. Come on, Peter, let's join them. You too, listeners. Let's all do the gnome jig. Point, hop back, and step to the side. Take each happy move and stride. Let the music be your guide. Point, hop back, and step to the side. Yeah, point, hop back, and step to the side. We gnomes may not be so big. But we dance a very good jig. Whether you're a gnome or not, we think you'll like this dance a lot. Point, hop back, and step to the side. Take each happy move and stride. Let the music be your guide. Then, point, hop back, and step to the side. Take each happy move and stride. Let the music be your guide. And point, hop back, and step to the side. Norman. Thanks, Edna. Come on, Peter. Let's let them get back to the garden. Point, hop back, and step to the side. Goodbye, Edna. Bye, Norman. Take each happy move and stride. Let the music be your guide. Nice jigging, Peter. You are right, Pinkalicious. Dancing is so much fun. But remember what you said earlier? Uh, meow-a-doodle-doo? <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> you said the only thing better than dancing by yourself was dancing with someone else. And dancing with Norman and Edna sure was fun. But what if we got a bunch of our friends and family together to dance with us? That would make me the happiest ever. I think that would be pink fantastic. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait a minute. We have a problem. Did you run out of energy again? No. I'm ready to dance, but I'm not sure which kind of dance our friends will want to do with us. Why don't we get some ideas from our listening friends? Great idea, Pinkalicious. Friends, what kind of dance do you like to do? What awesome dances! Yes! Ooh, did someone say dancing in a parade? That's an especially pinkredible idea. But, Pinkalicious, there isn't any parade music for us to dance to. Hmm, good point. Wait, what if we made up our own music? We can make up a dance, so why not make up some instruments? Listen, do you hear that? I hear it. Look, there's a bird in the tree. It's a woodpecker. And he's rat-tat-tat-tapping on a trunk with his beak. 
Rat to tat to tat. Rat to tat to tat. Rat to tat to tat. Makes me want to march. March, march, march to the beat. March, march, march. March, march, march. This is fun. Maybe we don't need any real instruments at all. We can move to the rhythm of the invisible instruments. Listening friends, join our invisible marching band with us. Everyone, come join our invisible band. March, march, march. <laughs> so here we go. Strike off the band. Let's see you tap your feet and wave your hands. Shake off your cares and hit the street. You're marching to the pink step beat. Take a big breath. March faster! March faster with us, everybody! So here we go! Strike off the bed! Let's see you tap your feet and wave your hands! Shake off your cares and hit the street! You're marching to the pink step beat! <laughs> it was so much fun to march and dance with all of you! And almost everyone in Pinkville who joined in! That sure was fun! Hey, Peter, where are you going? The song's over. All that dancing has put me in such a good mood, I just want to keep on moving. I even feel like trying my scooter trick again. Here I go! Yeah! <laughs> Way to go, Peter! Thanks so much for joining us, listeners. And for dancing with us. Don't forget, you don't need to learn special moves, whether you want to dance like an animal, or do a gnome jig, or march to your own band. All you really need to do is have fun. <laughs> Hold on, Peter, I'm coming! Swirling and swirling. Thanks everyone for singing with us. Before we go, I want to introduce you to a special friend of mine, the author and illustrator of the Pinkalicious book series, Victoria Ken. Thanks for inviting me to your show. I was hoping that you might answer some questions from some of our listening friends. Would you? Of course. That would be fantastic. Hi, my name is Zara, and I live in Jamaica. My question is, what's your favorite animal? I love your question because I love a variety of animals for so many different reasons. Some because their fur is soft and it's nice to pet them like a kitten. And some animals are fun because they love to play like a puppy who will play fetch with you. And some animals are fascinating because of the way they move, like a kangaroo that hops or a pink flamingo who balances on one foot. It's fun to look at different animals and see if you can move like them. Can you balance on one foot? Can you move slowly like a turtle or fast like a cheetah? Of course, my absolute favorite animals are the ones that live with me because I know them very well and I love their personalities. I have a dog, a goldfish, and hopefully I will get some kittens this year. What animals do you like and why do you like them? Thanks, Victoria. That was pink -erific. Thank you, Pinkalicious. It's always fun to think pink with you. Do you have a question you'd like Victoria to answer? Have a parent send a voice recording of your question to Pinkalicious and Peterific at WGBH.org. So that's our show, and thanks for listening. If you liked it, we hope you'll subscribe to it. Just ask a grown-up to help you. That way you won't miss anything. You can hear all our songs and do all the fun stuff. For even more fun stuff, sign up for our weekly activity series, too. It's a free email that shares something pink amazing to do along with each episode. Tell your grown-up to sign up now at gbh.org slash pinkalicious. 
The Pinkalicious and Peterific podcast was produced for PBS Kids by GBH in partnership with Hothead Creative Studios and PRX. It's based on the best-selling book Pinkalicious by Victoria Ken and Elizabeth Ken. Remember, if you like this, then you'll pink a lot of our PBS Kids show and all the games on pbskids.org. Bye! See you soon! GBH Kids.